welcome to The Update. I'm Eleanor Quirk. Evacuation centres have opened across Sydney's west as residents in low-lying areas are told to evacuate. A major flood warning has been issued for the Hawkesbury, Nepean and Collo rivers. Strong winds and heavy rains have damaged power lines, causing blackouts in some areas. Mayor Todd Carney urging locals to take precautions. Well, your gutters are clear. I know it's hard now with the weather already coming in, but also to make sure that you follow all signage on the roads. Don't cross any swollen water. Don't think you know how deep it is. It's just not worth the risk. Meanwhile, southeast Queensland's bracing for heavy rain. Weekend storms expected to bring up to 100 mils in parts of Logan, the Gold Coast and the Scenic Rim. Three more Melbourne playgrounds have been shut after asbestos was discovered. The parks in Altona North closed after testing on recycled mulch confirmed the contaminated soil. Two Israeli army officers have been fired following an inquiry into a missile strike which killed seven aid workers, including an Australian. The report from Israel claims the force mistakenly believed they were attacking Hamas gunmen. US Secretary of State Antony Blinken says the attack was unacceptable. As Israel pursues any military operations against Hamas, it has to prioritize the protection of civilians. It has to make that job number one. Too many people have been caught in this crossfire of Hamas's making. Children, women, men losing their lives. Uh, Their safety has to be a priority and military operations need to be designed around their protection not the other way around. With daylight saving time coming to an end this weekend, firefighters are urging those turning back their clocks to check their smoke alarms at the same time. The CFA's Jason Heffernan says the best way to prevent deaths from a house fire is to have working smoke alarms. It really does give you the best chance of survival. Most people think that if there's a fire in the house, I'll smell it, I'll get up, I'll be able to get out. The reality is if you're asleep, the smoke puts you in a further, deeper sleep and you will die. Sport and entertainment are next. To Sport and Brisbane's ended their winless drought with a convincing 70-point win over North Melbourne in the gather round. Lions coach Chris Fagan says his side thrived at Norwood Oval. The players talked about that in the team meeting last night. They thought it was just a good opportunity to get back to that community footy feel, which surprised me. I thought they all liked playing on the MCG, but I think sometimes that's what just reminds them of what they did when they were kids and the sort of grounds that they played on. Port Adelaide thrilled home fans with a 69-point defeat of Essendon. In the NRL, the Knights too good for the Dragons. The home side taking the convincing win 30-10. to Earlier, the Bulldogs survived a second-half comeback to beat the Roosters in slippery conditions at Olympic Park. Roosters playmaker Luke Keary says his side's performance was embarrassing. Like To turn up like that as a playing group is not good enough. Like To turn up at this time of the year, it's not good enough, so... We just need to have a good look at ourselves. To entertainment and Sasha Baron Cohen and wife Isla Fisher have announced their splitting after 14 years of marriage. The British actor and Australian actress announced they had quietly separated last year by sharing a bizarre snap posing in tennis outfits. Their statement read, after a long tennis match lasting over 20 years, we are finally putting our rackets down. And that's the latest from the Nova podcast team. We'll see you again soon for another episode of The Update. 